films left for a review of Palooza of the Ashkash Horror Film Festival films, and today is the uh, one of the other feature-length films that had its premiere, its world premiere, if you will, at the Ashkash Horror Film Festival. We're talking about Don't Go to the Reunion, brought to us by Slasher Studios, written by Kevin Summerfield and directed by Steve Goltz. Now you may recognize those names; those are the guys who brought us Blood Brothers and Teddy and uh, Popularity Killer. I reviews reviewed a few of those uh, shorts uh, last year and the year before. So this is their first full-length feature film, and it's a send-up to the old 80s high school revenge stories. We start off with a group of popular kids who end up setting up the nerd of the school, if you will, uh, and causing uh, him to have major problems in school right near the end of graduation, okay? And, you know, they're just doing that for their friends. So uh, then we get 10 years later, that same group's brought back together under some mysterious circumstances for their 10-year reunion. Well, they find out uh, the 10-year reunion isn't be, being held by the, uh, some school committee. No, this they were brought together by the kid that they picked on in high school. And well, so we see how things unfold from there. Uh, I enjoyed this film. This is a film that actually got better for me as it went along. I enjoyed the high school scenes that they did, and everybody does v very well at trying to play uh, the, the, the high school kids, you know, so and the makeup and everything. So they did well with that, and then uh, doing 10 years later, it, it felt like there was some time between those two. So I really liked that. And the film, though, it, in general, it, it seemed like the chemistry between the actors actually got better as the film went along, because uh, it just got better and better for me. And then by the very end, I really was into it. This is like an 80s slasher uh, film story kind of told with a bit of a 90s flair to it, a 90s twist. So I enjoyed that, that they brought those two styles of horror films together. Now, Kevin Summerfield brought us a script that definitely has a huge amount of horror references in there. Lots of references to old school horror films. And uh, so when you watch it, if you definitely are into it, you'll probably catch all of them. I caught most of them, but some of them I was even like, oh, okay, I'm going to have to look that up. And then I put it on my playlist for Netflix once I figured out what film they were referencing. So there's a lot of film references in here, and it definitely will uh, get people uh, who are big into horror films. They're, they're going to love catching all the references in here. Now, I like the performances of all the actors and actresses in here. Uh, again, uh, their lines deliveries actually got better as the film went along. Uh, Stephanie Lee Rose playing Erica Carpenter. Love that name. All the, all the names in here, the last names are based off of a uh horror uh, directors, and I love that bit of it. So Erica Carpenter being the main uh, focused on character, uh, she does a great performance in here, and she, she can scream really well, too, which I know, it sounds bad, but it's true. Uh, the rest of the performance there, you get Mike Goltz back. He would have played Clay and Teddy. He has you rolling. Him and Nick Summers are the kind of comedic element, the humorous element to this horror story, and I love their uh, performances as well. They had some great line deliveries and had the whole audience laughing, so it definitely was enjoyable there. Now, the special effects were done decently. Now, they did have a limited budget, but what they did have, they worked with uh, the gore effects I liked and felt very very 80s style as well. So some props there. Like I said, while it still seemed a little bit rough starting out, the film does get better as it goes along. So if you like independent film, if you liked Teddy, if you liked their other shorts from Slasher Studios, definitely try to catch out, uh, catch Don't Go to the Reunion. You can actually pick up the DVD from them if you want. I'll put the link down below to their site. You can check out more for Don't Go to the Reunion. And make sure you check out my uh, uh, Q&A and the uh, uh, interviews that I managed to do with the cast and crew as well. A decent uh, for their first uh, feature film, and I look forward to seeing their next feature film from Slasher Studios, because they seem to just get better and better as they roll along. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that together.